Hi, welcome to another video of Swift UI and Vision OS. In this tutorial, you will build this 3D rotation animation in Swift UI and Vision OS using Model 3D View as well as Face Animator. So let's begin. You can find the source code in this GitHub repository, Open Vision OS. It also has another animation and Swift UI projects as well, all for Vision OS. To be able to display 3D models in SwiftUI, we will use Model 3D View. We can use this view to load 3D models asynchronously. For the asset itself, we have to use USD. To be able to get USD files, we can use Reality Composer. So let's launch Reality Composer Pro and create a new project. We won't use it for anything, so let's save it. Go to the toolbar on the right. We can click the plus icon to go to the content library. Search for any content we want. For example, let's drag this one over here. Once we have it in the panel, we can drag it to the navigator. Once you have the asset in Reality Composer Pro, we can export it as USD. Now we can go to File, Export. Then we save it to a location. The format will be USD. I already have the USD file, so I will cancel this and close Reality Composer. So using Reality Composer Pro, you have to prepare the asset yourself. But on some websites like Sketchfab, you get the 3D models, both paid and unpaid ones. So over here, for example, let's search for a running shoe. You can see over here, we have both paid ones and unpaid ones. Let's select this one, for example. We can drag and preview how it looks. So if you are okay with this, we can click this button to download the 3D model. And the format you are looking for is this one, USDC. I have this already downloaded. So let's go back to the Xcode project. We will place everything in a VStack container. So let's add it here. And I'll add the model 3D view. Let's select the third option. So we have to specify the name as a string. The model 3D view also accepts a closure. So let's add it here. In the body, we have to specify the content. I downloaded different 3D running shoe. So let's drag that over here. Once you do that, we get this dialog window. So you need to make sure destination is checked. Under added folders, you check create folder references. And the final one is add to target. So this is the project name. Once you do that, we click finish. So that brings the 3D asset here. By clicking that, we open it in Reality Composer. So we can just drag it around and see the different size. Let's load it with the name in our project. We can add some modifiers to modify the 3D model. So let's add the resizable modifier and then scale effect to scale it down. It's a way too big. So let's scale it to, for example, 0 0.15. Next, we want to add some UI controls under the 3D model. You can see everything here is embedded in a navigation stack. So for the content in the navigation stack, we can add a toolbar. Our toolbar will have a toolbar item group for all the items. We have different locations to place the toolbar item. So let's bring the placement parameter. You can see we have all these options, but the one we are looking for is a bottom ornament. We don't see anything because we have nothing in the toolbar. So let's add our first item in the toolbar. It's just an icon to switch into full screen mode. Let's add another items as well. We now have only one item, but we can add more. So let's add more items to the toolbar. So these are all the items we want to place on the toolbar ornament. An icon to switch into full screen, and then another button to share. The last one is a button to buy. Now let's create the animation using face animator. Below the scale effect modifier, we can add the face animator modifier. Using the face animator modifier, we should define a set of faces for the animation. 
we will keep this simple because this animation has only two faces. So we are going to use an array. We now need to specify the content we want to animate and another variable to animate the content. Let's call the content we want to animate the same as this variable name. So let's copy that and paste it here. Then we bring a comma. We will call the animation variable rotate XYZ. Once we do that, we can now bring the content and add the properties we want to animate. We will use the rotation effect modifier to animate the content. We can set the 3D rotation in degrees or in radians. Let's use degrees. So we want to rotate the object on the axis X, Y, and Z. So we bring the axis parameter. For the X value, we will put five. And the Y rotation will also be, let's put zero for Y at the moment. And then we put the Z coordinate also as zero. For the angle, we are going to use our animation variable here. Since we specify the faces as true and false, we can use ternary conditional operation to animate the angle. So let's bring a question mark here. For the true value, let's use an angle of 720. The false value will be zero. When we create an animation in Vision OS using Face Animator, by default, you get a spring animation. We can customize this animation further. We do this using the animation closure. I'm going to add this animation closure. You can see it is using the same animation variable that we defined here. And it is using different is in equation that is is in out. So I will preview again. After we preview the animation, you can see we get a smooth and seamless 3D rotation animation using the timing curve is in out. So this is all we have in this tutorial. I showed you how to use the model 3D view to load a 3D model that is USDC into the Vision OS project. We also dived into using face animator to create this seamless 3D rotation animation. I will be creating a lot of Vision OS and Swift UI animations and content. So I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching this video.